To perform this work, you're going to first need to remove the lower cabin microfilter housing on the driver's side, and at the end, you're going to have to bleed your brakes. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with both those tasks. There is not enough room to replace the master cylinder by itself, so it's got to come out with the brake booster. In this video, we will show you how to do this. This image illustrates the brake master cylinder reservoir on the driver's side of the engine compartment by the firewall. Unplug the brake fluid level warning switch by squeezing the locking tab on it and pulling the connector away from the reservoir. Open the cap and drain as much fluid from the reservoir as you can. Brake fluid is toxic to your paint, so use caution. With an 11mm flare nut wrench, loosen the side brake line by turning it counterclockwise. Whatever brake fluid is left in the reservoir is going to drain out, so be prepared to catch it and dispose of it in accordance with your local regulations. With a 12mm flare nut wrench, remove the brake line pointing upwards at the front of the master cylinder by spinning it counterclockwise. Then move to the inside of the vehicle, making sure you don't have any brake fluid on you, and remove the lower dashboard trim panel. Again, please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. This image illustrates the driver's side of the dash looking at the brake pedal lever. Use a flathead screwdriver to unlock the clip, green arrow, that secures the brake pedal to the brake booster, and then slide the clip in the direction of the blue arrow. Notice the spring in the background, red arrow. Unclip either side of the spring, red arrow. The spring attaches to the brake pedal and the pin that secures the brake pedal to the brake booster. Pull the pin, red arrow, out slightly and rotate it forward until it spins around into this position. Now you can move the pin in the direction of the blue arrow and remove it completely from the pedal. Against the firewall, remove the four 13mm fasteners, green arrows, that mount the brake booster to the firewall. Move back to the master cylinder and grab the flexible brake booster vacuum hose check valve, green arrow, and pull it out of the booster in the direction of the blue arrow. You do not have to remove the brake fluid reservoir to perform this step. We removed it for photographic purposes. Remove the 10 mm mounting fastener, green arrow, that holds the brake booster cover. Pull out the brake booster cover to give you more room to lift up the brake booster. Grab the very front of the brake master cylinder and lift it straight up. The master cylinder brake booster assembly will tilt forwards. You can continue to remove the whole assembly or leave it in the cavity and unbolt the master cylinder itself. Here's a close-up view of where the master cylinder goes into the brake booster. Remove the two 13mm fasteners, green arrows, that hold the master cylinder to the booster. Here the bolts have already been removed. Installation is the reverse of removal. When you reinstall the brake lines, always start them by hand and make sure they are seated and threading correctly before you tug them. You don't want to cross-thread these lines. Now you must bleed the brake system completely. Do not attempt to drive the vehicle without first bleeding your brake system. You can find out how to do that by following the link provided at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.